Good morning guys! So this is part 1 of our strategy formulation. So it is under module 3 on external and internal assessment. So let's start! So this time, your deeper analogy is needed because all ideas stored here will be used on the case analysis. So I let you analyze, use your imagination because this knowledge and skills that you already have will be used on how you will manage the environmental problem here in, in the society wherein it covered not just your literal understanding on the word environment. It will cover the pros and cons of innovation in our environment, the effects to society, how we will address the issue, and what are the possible solutions that might change our society into progressive and immaculate environment. So through using internal and external environment or internal or external assessment. But all these ideas will be perfectly fits into your mind if you forward and watch the rest of the video now. So enjoy the banging of ideas with your classmate. So let's start. So analogy of internal and external environment. So any organization needs to establish their own company for a better future. That's why all stakeholders want to see their own company to be stable and will continue their business for a long period of time. So, an organization must have the ability to examine and make changes based on the internal and external environment factors that affects its performance. On the internal environment, factors are events that occur within an organization. So, it happens within the company. Internal environment factors are easier to control. So, some examples are management changes, employee morale, culture changes in the company, financial changes, and other issues that happen only in the company. So that's internal environment. For the external environment, they are factors or events that occur outside the organization and are difficult to predict and control. External environmental factors can be more dangerous for an organization because they are more unpredictable hard to prepare, and often confusing. So some examples are changes in the economy, threats from competitors, political factors, government regulation, and differences in culture. So, what is SWOT analysis or SWOT matrix does to your strategy formulation? SWOT is a structured planning tool that can be used to evaluate the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats involved in running business venture. Using SWOT analysis or TAUS matrix can be used to help a business to determine the advantages and disadvantages of changes they want to make based on internal and external factors. A SWOT analysis was originated by Alfred S. Humphrey in the 1960s. It is a simple but useful framework for, analysis, for analyzing your organization. It helps you focus on your strength, minimize threat, and take the greatest possible advantages and opportunities available to you. A SWOT analysis are divided into two distinct parts. The first one is the strength and weaknesses for internal factors and opportunities and threats for external factors. SWOT analysis is used to deliberate most the strength of the organization. So when you say SWOT analysis, it's more on deliberating the strength of the organization. While using Tau's matrix is more useful on deliberating the opportunities of the organization. So you need to consider your strength from both an internal perspective and from the point of view of your customers and people in your market. Write down a list of your organization's characteristics, and some of these will, ho will be hopefully be strengths. When looking at your strength, think, it, think about them in relation to your competitors. For example, if all of your competitors provide high-quality products, then a high-quality production process is not a strength in your organization's market. It's a necessity. 
So, you need to know this. What advantages does your organization have? What do, what do you do better than anyone else? What unique or lower cost resources can you draw upon that others can? What do people in your market see as your strength? What factor mean that you get to see? What is your organization unique selling proposition? So that will be your advantages for internal engagement. What about the weakness? In weakness, consider this from an internal and external perspective. Do other people seem to perceive weaknesses that you don't see? Are your competitors doing any better than you? It's best to be realistic now and face any unpleasant truth as soon as possible. So, you need to understand the what could you include, what should be avoided, what are the people in your market likely to see as weaknesses, what factors lose your sales. So, it's more on internal. So, let's start with the external environment. For the external environment, a useful approach when looking at opportunities is to look at your strength and ask yourself whether these open up for any opportunities. So you need to ask this, what good opportunities can you spot? What interesting trends are you aware of? Useful opportunities can come from such things as changes in technology and market on both a broad and narrow scale, changes in government policy related to your field, changes in social pattern, population, profiles, lifestyle, changes, and so on, and local events. For the external environment, we also take a look at your weaknesses and ask yourself whether you could open up opportunities by eliminating them. So, on the external environment, uh, we need to know this. What obstacles do you face? What are your competitors doing? Are quality standard or specification for your job, product, or services changing? Is changing technology threatening your position? Do you have budget or cash flow problem? Could any of your weaknesses seriously threaten your business? So, when looking at opportunities and threats, PESTE analysis can be helpful to the organization. So, it's more on the external environment. So, what are those? PESTA means P for political. So, you need to take a look at the political side. E means economical or economy. So, you, you need to take a look what happens to the economy uh, of the business. Or S means social. Social means uh, corporate social responsibility. Social means community. T for technological or for the uh, technology or innovation. E means environmental. Okay? Let's practice. Tell me if it is part of internal or external environment. Management. So, it's under internal environment. It can be a weakness or it can be a strength. Government. It is an external environment. It can be an opportunity or it can be a threat. Profit. Profit for the company, so it means internal environment. Boosting up economy. Boosting up economy, uh, it means under uh, external environment. Increase of sin tax of cigarette. So you cannot change that because uh, it is uh, under the government uh, proposition, so it's external environment. Opening new business of rival companies, so it's your competitors. So, it's under external environment. Additional cash flow from investor. So, cash flow from investor, it's your business. So, it's internal environment. Buy back your old bank business. So, it's internal environment. So, it can be a strength or a weakness. Research and development department. So, it's under your business. So, it's internal environment. Death of CEO. So, it's internal environment. So, it can be a, a weakness on your side or it can be a strength. 
for having a new management. Decrease of company stockholders equity due to three years profit loss. So it's under uh, its internal environment under weaknesses. Increase of stockholders. So this means uh, it's part of internal environment under strength. Increase of business due to foreign investors. So it, uh, this means internal environment under strength. Decrease of employees withholding tax. So this one, decreasing employees withholding tax means strength under internal environment. Booming up same business in the market. So, it's external environment. So, it's opportunity. Theft on company's boat. So, this is under internal environment. And this one is weaknesses. Theft of government funds. So, this is under external environment. Innovated products. Your product. So, that's, uh, that means strength under internal environment. Change of management, so it's also under internal environment. It can be a strength or it can be a weakness. War, so you cannot predict the war. So that's external environment under threats. Okay, so that's it. So I'm just hoping you understand our topic for today. So again, our topic is more on strategic formulation under internal and external environment. Again, this is my team. And I hope you understand our module for the strategic management. Bye-bye!